Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to kind of go over some stuff uh, in regards to Lego Star Wars The Clone Wars and kind of the state of that sub-theme of Lego Star Wars here in 2024. So let's go ahead and go over to LegoStarWars.com. It's the official Lego website. Um, so some stuff that's going to be the most accurate, up-to-date thing um, that has Lego Star Wars. Um, there's no any way to kind of go um, about Star Wars The Clone Wars, but we'll kind of just go down the list and kind of see what's available. Some of these new sets I don't like, like the Dark Falcon, some people like I'm not really a fan of. Like this, we could have had like a $99 anything else besides that. I, I don't get the point of that, but again, that's for somebody else. So we have Jedi Bob Starfighter. This is technically uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars, kind of more based off the 2002 uh, Clone Wars design. Kind of got a clone here, Jedi Bob. I mean, I know it's based off that Rebuild the Galaxy, but it is, I would consider, a Clone Wars set. Um, so more or less, we're going to kind of add that to the list. Really cool right there. We have a Venator. Um, this is definitely based off the Clone Wars, one of the best uh, UCS sets uh, ever, but definitely one of the best Clone Wars sets of all time. Then we have Captain Rex Microfighter right here. Um, you do get Captain Rex Phase 2. Really great way uh, of getting Captain Rex for many years. You either had to spend a few hundred dollars to get them, or you had to get them uh, on the, the third hand, uh, second hand market, third party. Kind of got some other stuff. I mean, R2-D2 might be considered Clone Wars. Some people would consider that. I think that's too far-fetched. Um, anything I consider Clone Wars really episode 2, 3, plus all the Clone Wars shows. Um, and this might have some Clone Wars stuff in this. I'm not really sure, honestly. Um, okay, here we go. We got ATTE Walker. This one is retiring later this year. Um, supposedly, or it's next year. Um, they've kind of moved that out, so... Since it's on sale most places for about $110 to $120, I would go ahead and buy this. I mean, you got some really great figures. Uh, one of the best ATTEs ever created. I know the, the little droid right here is not 100% accurate to this uh, scene, but it is one of the most beautiful Star Wars The Clone Wars sets made ever, especially for that price. Cannot get any better than that. So I would highly recommend picking this one up uh, if you are a Clone Wars fan or just a Star Wars fan in general. Um, going down here, we do have the new Clone Troopers Battle Pack that came out earlier this year. Um, I think it's a pretty decent set. Uh, you do have those Super Battle Droids right here. You have uh, three regular clones and that Shock Trooper right there. Uh, Stap, haven't seen one of those in a long time. Really uh, nostalgic for that one because of the 2008 to 2011 Clone Wars. Um, very nostalgic, very nice battle pack, and for 30 bucks, haven't really seen it on sale a lot, but if you can get it on sale around Black Friday, I highly recommend picking a few of those up. Um, you do have the Commander Cody Brickhead, not really a fan of Brickheads, but if you want to get it, I would go ahead and get that. Next up, we have the Coruscant Guard Gunship. Uh, it, it's a toss-up for, for a lot of people, honestly. Um, I like it. It's small. I wish it was a normal gunship. I do not like the little turret on the side it's just it just does not look good right there in my opinion i wish the door kind of had a split down the middle um, a lot of complaints that everyone has i think the handle kind of just looks kind of ugly right there but overall it's a decent set would i pay 140 dollars for it no it's been going on sale for 120 to 130 i would maybe wait till probably closer to black friday they might have it on sale uh maybe too closer to that 110 120 mark um, would be really good in that range. Um, right now they have double VIP points going on it. No, don't. It's not worth double VIP even on this one. So um, I would go ahead and, and get this one probably if you can find it non uh like Amazon or, or somewhere like that, get it you know, 20, 25% off would be absolutely great uh, to pick this setup at. I probably wouldn't get it anything, anything uh, more than that. But really good Clone Wars set. Uh, kind of caught us off guard last year when that one came out. Let's look for some newly retiring stuff. Okay, we've got the Ahsoka's Clone Trooper. I know a lot of people don't like the helmet holes. I'm indifferent on it. Don't really care. Uh, honestly, it's clones. Um, can't really complain of Clone Wars sets these days. Um, this one is retiring this year. I would go ahead and pick it up. It's on sale most places for 15 16 bucks. 
Some people can consider this a Clone Wars set, a T6 Jedi Shuttle. If you got rid of all these minifigures, that technically is a Clone Wars set. So you can technically consider that. Mark Speeder Escape, maybe a Clone Wars set. I mean, it is a clone item. Clones. So without Grogu, you can put the, the 501st Trooper in there. Then, yes, you have a Clone Wars set. That's how I view these things. Can it be a standalone Clone Wars set if you got some of the other stuff out of it? Yes. Let's look. Uh, obi wan Kenobi Starfighter, technically Clone Wars set. Again, it is retiring this year. I would go ahead and pick it up. There's not many Clone Wars sets, and that's kind of what I'm getting at. Uh, you do have the Captain Rex helmet and the Commander Cody helmet. Really great helmet. So those are also retiring soon. I would go ahead and pick them up. Most times you can find them 20, 20 to 30 percent off. I would go ahead and do that. Um, oops, not didn't mean to do that. Yoda's Jedi Starfighter, not a fan favorite for a lot of people, but it is in fact a Clone Wars set. Uh, one of the few last year they did that they did for the anniversary of Clone Wars. Kind of disappointed in it. Wish they did something more, but we might be getting some more stuff next year for Clone Wars. Uh, so be on the lookout for that and news on that. But we do have that set. You can pick it up if you want. Not really the best in my opinion, but it is still a Clone Wars set. As you're, as you're looking here, there is not a lot uh, of Clone Wars sets currently on the market. I wish there were more, but there there just isn't. Um, where did the other battle pack go? Let's look up battle. Because there is one other battle pack. Yes, you got the five first Clone Wars battle pack. This one is also retiring. These two right here. Um, so I would go ahead and pick these both these up. There is a bundle going on right now at Walmart um, that you get uh, this set, you get the Obi-Wan Starfighter and the Yoda Starfighter, all for 50 bucks. I do have a video on that on my channel. I would go ahead and check that out. Um, but great set right here. Um, and you can kind of get it in that bundle or you can just get the battle pack if you're not a, a fan of those Starfighters. Again, you can kind of see some of these other Clone Wars sets. You get the Commander Cody helmet, stuff like that. But again, the state of Star Wars, the Clone Wars, is decent. Uh, again, I consider anything Episode 2 or 3 or the Clone Wars animated show as a part of the Clone Wars um, when it comes to clones. Um, so I would be on the lookout for, for new stuff coming next year. I'm not sure there's a lot. I mean, I know you're going to get... Uh, Ahsoka's Jedi Interceptor in uh, January, and then a maybe an ARC-170 in January, and then a Acclimator, um, as well as we currently have uh, the Invisible Hand. Some would consider that a Clone Wars set as well. But really, right now, the state of Star Wars the Clone Wars is decent. Is it where I want it to be? No. Can it get better? Yes. Are they going to get it to where it was in 2008 to 2011? No. It'll never go back to that. Unless a new Clone Wars movie comes out. But again, you see with Ahsoka, there's only two sets for the Ahsoka show. Uh, two, three that came out in the original wave. But not really many since. So, it's one of those things, I think, the, the past of Clone Wars is kind of where it was the, was the peak. But again, we're getting some stuff throughout, um, which, ma which makes it really cool for us collectors. Um, but I would not kind of be ho putting hopes up for big Clone Wars waves anymore. Um, so I would go ahead and get the stuff that's available because it will go up in value just because it is clone stuff. You do have some time on the battle pack. Um, but these two, I would go ahead and get. I'm unsure about if these are going to retire the ATT, and of course not. But the ATT, I would maybe army build a few of those. The Venator, I am going to get eventually, um, but that is uh, just an amazing set right there. Captain Rex, I will be doing a review of Lego's Captain Rex versus like uh, the Clone Army Customs Custom Captain Rex. I think there will be some interesting differences there. If you did like this video, and it's a little bit different than what I've been putting out on the channel, uh, you can like, comment, and subscribe for more Lego Star Wars content. I also do stuff on Lego Speed Champions and just kind of other general Lego stuff. Sometimes tech, but mostly Lego Star Wars, especially Star Wars The Clone Wars, is what you'll get here on the channel. We have, you guys have a great day.